Can you guys hear me? Are we good? Does it work? Okay, you see it now. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps crashing. That drives me nuts. Anytime I do a stream that's longer than two hours. Don't move or I'll shoot! I don't know where to go. This is dumb. Don't move or I'll shoot! Anyone have any ideas on how to get through this? I went everywhere. Like, I can't go that way, otherwise he's gonna see me. Thank you, X-Infected. Don't move or I'll shoot! Fuck. You! It... It gives me like a small window showing them... Showing me what they're doing, but that's only when I... Get really close. Like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get by that? Go a little closer and then turn around. Because I can't go this way. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened there. That's just weird. A soldier, quick, let's hide. Don't move or I'll shoot. I hate this fucking mission! These are so bad. <coughs> they excised all these shitty stealth missions in heavy rain. You don't have to do this crap in heavy rain. Further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. Ugh. 
This sucks. from Marcus before going on. Let's go. Now what? The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. Don't move or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? exactly what I'm supposed to do. He's supposed to get his attention somehow, but how? you doing out here? Don't move or I'll shoot. I don't know what I'm supposed to what do here. What the hell are you doing out here? He's supposed to distract him, but how is he going to distract him? Don't move or I'll shoot! I don't get it. What the hell are you doing out here? Maybe I gotta head to the other X? Yeah, let's head to that other X. Yeah, there we go. It's all up to you, Lucas. Oh, I'm supposed to go up the telephone hey, pole, aren't I? Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. 
Okay, no problem, Tornado. How's everyone feeling? Are they? Are you guys tired? I think I'm close to the end of the game, but I'm not really sure. Should I keep going or should I close up for the night? Keep it up. Okay. All good, all right. I think we're, we're close-ish to the end. I got a feeling, a premonition. Okay, we, we made it through. find the indigo child as soon as possible there isn't much time the visions are becoming clearer and clearer i've nearly got a position localized move quickly time is short the child must not escape us the prophecy must be fulfilled you may leave us When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. Call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. I didn't see that coming. Your investigation has too many shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. You're here because you think I might have the answers to your questions. It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Why does he want to kill all of these people? He's using the ritual to find a little girl, the indigo child. Why does he want this little girl? I'm not sure. All I know is that the child is very special, and that the fate of humanity depends on her. The Oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean, the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know.
And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. And your apartment? When we came to arrest you, the walls were covered with ritualistic symbols and articles about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The Oracle and the Orange Clan were behind all that. What about all of these dead people around you, Lucas? What happened to Tiffany? And that old woman, Agatha? The Oracle wanted to eliminate me. I had become an inconvenience to him. He wanted to keep Agatha from talking, and he used Tiffany to draw me into a trap. These deaths, he talks about them with no emotion, as if nothing mattered to him anymore. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Why are you telling me all of this? Because you're the only person who knows that what I'm saying is true. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here Talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. <sighs> so, either you're crazy, or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. His hand, it's as cold as ice. I'll do Carla at this time. Almost the entire country is now without water and electricity services. The army has been mobilized to help provide shelter and basic necessities, but the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. Scientists are still unable to fully explain the reason behind the cold wave which has now gripped the entire planet. Temperatures continue to fall everywhere in the world as authorities ponder. Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I'm solid ice from head to toe. Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably now or never. I get the feeling you're hiding something from me on this cane thing. Am I right? I think it's probably better if you stay out of all this, Tyler. This whole thing has gone way beyond what we thought. Hey, baby! Sam, what are you doing here, babe? There's a train leaving in one hour for Florida. It'll probably be the last one for a long time. I'll be on it, Tyler. With or without you. If you really love me, quit the police and come with me. When this cold stops, we'll get on with our lives. Our new, normal lives. It's time to make a choice, Tyler. Oh, I love you too damn much, Sam. I wouldn't let you go for anything in the world. Oh, Tyler, I was so afraid of losing you. Fuck the police. <laughs> I'm gonna take Winona Ryder. Well, 
I quit. Good luck with the whole saving the world thing. Carla, I... As long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Good luck in Florida, Tyler. You were eavesdropping? How dare you? <laughs> That's a good choice, yep. <laughs> You know, there's a good chance. There's a good chance that the voice actors for these characters look like the actual characters. What the fuck? Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Oracle's seen the child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her any minute now. I've got to get to her before he does. Victoria? Wait for me here. I don't remember. I don't remember Victoria. Wait, are they... They are together? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> they, they went from, uh, you know... This guy being a fugitive to sleeping together. But you know what? I kind of... I kind of... Saw that coming. I kind of saw that coming. But I still don't really know. I mean, it just kind of happened all of a sudden. So I'm a little confused as to what the hell happened. There's no time to lose. I've got to find that girl before the Oracle does. Honestly, I feel like this ending is a little rushed. Is anyone else getting that feeling? Sir? Sir? You can't go in there! I go where I want to go. Got to do this quickly. The Oracle will be here any second. Where do I go? You can't go in. I've seen you in my dreams. You have to come with me. We have to leave here right now. This is not creepy at all. She seems out of it like she's not here at all. So, I see you're still alive. I don't know how you've managed it, but that's of no importance now. Give me the child, and I will grant you a rapid death. If you take her to the ones you serve, they'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. That's no concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give me the child. I don't have time to play with you. Fuck you. Oh shit. I'm leaving you here. You mustn't move, understand? I'll be back soon to get you. I hope. Neo versus uh, Mr. Smith. Well, that's the end of my story. That's how my story ends. I failed. Just before escaping with the ending of the child. I could have protected her and saved humankind. But the Oracle was more powerful than I was. I don't know what happened next. To be honest, I'm just as happy not being around to see it. Wow, this is exactly, exactly like the Matrix fight.
over? That was crazy. Agent Smith, best character in the Matrix. He's good. It's pretty cool. It's not over yet. years depends on the fate of that child. A new golden age, peace and security, or the reign of ice, of terror and death. We were right to have chosen you. You. You've been using me from the start, haven't you? You manipulated me so I'd find the girl for you. Manipulated isn't really the word. Let's say guided. We intervened to protect you because we knew you could lead us to her. Whose side are you on, Agatha? Who are you, really? We wish to keep the Orange Clan from possessing the child. We would use her to tighten their grip on humanity. We wish to provide her with a safe, hidden home where no one can ever use her for evil ends. What happened at the amusement <laughs> yeah. park? There is. I don't remember anything after the roller coaster collapsed. You didn't survive the fall. We found your body and we resuscitated you. That means Carla fucked the a dead guy. The truth is that you are dead, <gasps> Lucas. It's... it's impossible. I, I, I'm not dead. I like fucked Carla. Can't death. be. They're simply abstract notions. You gave your life so that humanity could survive. You are a hero, Lucas. She is it dodging. It was vital that you bring us the Indigo Child, and you succeeded. Now we can put her in a safe place. You've accomplished your mission well. Fuck no, you. I don't trust you. Jade stays with me. You're committing a fatal error, Lucas. I'm going to have to eliminate you. Detail. When we brought you back to life, we added a module within your cortex. It's impossible to kill you, as you are already dead. I can, however, annihilate you. A simple touch from me, and you will be erased forever. There's no use trying to resist. I have control of you now.
underground secret base. Why are we following this creepy dude? We don't even know who this guy is. So, she's the one. This is the Indigo Child? Her name is Jade. She doesn't speak. I get the feeling that for the moment, she's observing us. How did you find me? That man came and got me. He told me you needed help. So, what do we do now? Looks like we don't have much choice. Let's follow him. Lucas, you're safe and sound. Marcus, how did you end up here? They came looking for me. They explained everything, Lucas. I know now that you weren't crazy. I hope that you can forgive me for doubting you. I couldn't possibly have known that you were really... What are you talking about? Our host will explain everything. It's the bum. Welcome to the Camp of the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. I'm not sitting next to you. I'll sit over here. Who are you? Why did you help us? We're the Invisibles. Since the dawn of time, we've been secretly observing the clans. Our mission is to ensure that the indigo child doesn't fall into the wrong hands. You're the ones who sent me that email on Kirsten, aren't you? Normally, we never intervene directly, but it seemed necessary to help you see that Lucas wasn't really guilty of murder. We thought that you might ultimately help him in his mission. What do you know about the Chroma? It's a natural energy force. Like gravity or magnetism, but it is infinitely more powerful. This force is in you, Lucas. And you've only discovered the smallest part of it. Who is really behind the Orange Clan? Nobody knows for sure. It's said that there are five, five to control the world. Administration, police, army, finance, the media. They control everything. Over the centuries, the Orange Clan has built an empire that runs the entire world. What do you know about the clans? The clans have existed for thousands of years. They reunited the most powerful of beings, who then provided the secret of the prophecy. <clears throat> they have only one goal, obtaining ultimate power by seizing the child. What is the message of the prophecy? It announces the 
birth of the indigo child. The child will have the answer to all questions. And the one who hears her message will have access to infinite power. But if the child has not been heard before the final countdown, humanity will cease to exist. So, what do we do now? We must bring the Indigo Child to a source of the Chroma. That's where she'll deliver her message and complete the prophecy. Where do we find this Chroma source? There are only three known to exist on the planet. The closest can be found on an old military base called Wishita. Wishita? That's where I was born. My parents were a scientist. They were working for the government. Yeah, and that explains many things. In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. We must bring the indigo child there as quickly as possible, before she wastes away and dies without having delivered her message. When do we leave? In two hours. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. It seems likely that the orange and purple clans will be waiting for you at Wishita. They will stop at nothing to prevent you from uniting the child with the artifact. We will take care of the child and give her a bit of chroma to help her hang on. There are some mattresses in the wagon back there. I suggest you get some rest before you have to leave. You have a long journey ahead of you. Tomorrow may well be the last day of the human race. I'm dead tired, Carla. I'm gonna take Bogart's advice and get some sleep. I don't think I can sleep right now. I'm gonna wander around a bit and join you later. something in the distance over there. What is this? <clears throat> An old radio. If I could get it to work, maybe I could get some news from up top. It seems to be in pretty good shape. Just need some batteries and an antenna. Batteries, dude. Wait. Take this gun. Nope. What was that? An iron rod. This will work as an antenna for the radio. Now batteries.
might the batteries be? inside the train okay what do you plan to play after this hmm I don't know do you have any I suggestions out of one for the radio okay let's see if there's anything else I have watchdogs too. Well, I could stream uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I don't have watchdogs too. There we go. Should work now. Metal Gear Solid 3. Um. Could try uh, Resident Evil for the GameCube. are completely without power this morning. Residents are chopping up wood wherever they can find it in an effort to keep warm. In a few days, the planet will revert to the Stone Age. Only a few cities can Not still another count Zelda game. <laughs> the government has declared a level one state of emergency. I can the stream Army something has been else. Deployed throughout the nation to discover your cell three and protect would like, those you'd like to, see. to remain in their homes due to the cold. Several hundred thousand men have been attached to emergency services in order to... All the oceans of the globe are now almost entirely frozen over. The Atlantic Let's Ocean see what is closing else. up and there are only a few hundred miles in the middle of the Pacific which haven't been covered over by the ice flow. If the temperature continues to fall, it seems likely... And I'm telling you the truth! This cold wave is a divine punishment for all of humanity's sins. God is sick and tired of our faithless, evil ways, and he's gonna cleanse the planet of the unworthy and declare the dawn of a new era, just like he did with Noah's flood. Don't be afraid, my brothers, because God- Undertale? Is I don't have Undertale yet. The just need not fear I don't even know anything about it. I can look into it. The apocalypse. The future of the world is going to be decided tomorrow at Washita. Talk to this guy? No. Nope. Where did Lucas go? Let me go in here. Looks like it'd be a good game. Oh, there's Lucas. Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? Fields, forests, cities, everything will disappear and It's all pixelated. And what's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like, like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? Not anymore. 
<laughs> if we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I... I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. Maybe if things had turned out differently. I am dead, you know. Why is it all pixelated? Frozen. Your lips are like ice. What, you couldn't tell last night? I love you, Luke. Dick is like ice. Did they just fuck with the door wide open like that? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at Undertale. I'll look into it. I can't guarantee anything though. This parts of the game here. What, the sex part? Yeah, that was the best part. This is the worst part, though. He knew the hangar was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. Look, Mary, that's just not possible, and you know it. Nobody can the kid see parts. things before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. Maybe it changed something in Lucas. That's nonsense. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. Don't you see? If it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have power. There's a difference, powers. John. I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? What are you doing there? Lucas? Lucas? As long as there's no sneaking, then it's fine. Scarface game? There's the hangar. The base seems abandoned. Looks like we got here before the Oracle and the Purple Clan. They're not far away. I sense their presence. Jade's lost consciousness. She's at the end of her rope. We don't have much time. Are you sure that you don't want me to come with you? I don't know what's going to happen, Carla. I don't want to risk your life for no reason. Be careful. I need you. You mean if I'm not back in 15 minutes. Go back where we came from. The Bogart game will protect you. The game that's based on the movie Scarface. Scarface, the world is yours. Mm, that's a newer game, isn't it? I don't know if it would run on this PC. I'll look into it, but I doubt it. I doubt it'll work on this PC game based around the movie okay yeah what year did that come out in this computer can run games from like around the 2000s but anything like after 2010 I I don't think it would work oh 2006 all right it might work then yeah ps2 era should work 
I'll see if I can find it. The other game I could stream is um, Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. Yeah. Yeah, I figured it must have been a GTA clone. child your tiny role is finished you can now disappear from the game we thank you for all that you have done for us Easier than the first battle? Good. Hopefully it's over already. I'd like to stream a Hitman game, but I tried already and it didn't work. It doesn't work on this laptop. More. Darth Vader. Choke. Scarface for the next game? You are even more obstinate than we had thought, human. But the game is over. You and your race have lost. Your inferior species will disappear like the dinosaurs before you. We, the artificial intelligences, will be the new dominant race on this planet. Thanks to the secret of the child, we will know all. We will be more powerful than gods. I tried Hitman 1.
throw her in. Does anyone know what's going on? There's also another game called Zone of the Enders, the, the second run away, just like it had come, in silence, as if the indigo child had turned the hourglass by delivering her message. Everything was just as it was before. I guess that means the lesser evil. The Oracle and the Orange Clan went back to their places of power in the secret government of the world. As good as you thought it would be. The Purple Clan went back to haunting us on the net. I should be happy, I guess. I've been living with Carla for three months. She's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Maybe Scarface. Yesterday, she told me that she's pregnant. Must have been that night in Bogart's underground base. That means that our child was radiated by the chrome at Rashida, just like I was in my mother's womb. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm the one and only keeper of the greatest secret in the universe. What should I do with all that power? Forget it? Put it in the service of humanity? I've never dreamt about being a god. I just want to live my life like anybody else with my wife and my child. I'm afraid that destiny might have another path in mind for me. What are you thinking about, Luke? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Is the good ending? Yeah, I can tell. I wonder what the bad ending is like. I'm gonna have to look it up on YouTube. The end. All right. I guess uh, it's time for me to give my review. Uh, music's a little loud. Can everyone hear me okay? If I were to do my review over this music, can you still hear me? song yeah if I do a review it might if I do my review now it might get copyrighted story's a little boring at parts quick time events is nothing but Simon says yeah yeah pretty much um, characters rip off the matrix Turn down the music. Hold on. Can you hear me now? How do I sound? Do I sound okay? But if I do my review now, it's gonna get copyrighted. I'll wait until it's over, I guess. In that case, I'll turn it back up so you guys can hear it. You hear me? Uh, I'm gonna have to wait until the, the music's over because this is a real song. The review's gonna get copyrighted. Right? Ah, eh, fuck it. I'll do it anyway. Let, let them copyright it. Alright. 
So, I basically agree. Um, the things I didn't like... I'll start with the things I didn't like about the game. Um, I didn't like the quick time events. They were really annoying. Um, the... It, like... They, they, if you ever play a Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain is basically a, a full improvement over this game. Now, that makes sense, because Heavy Rain is made by the same development team, Quantic Dream, and uh, the quick time events are better, the story is better, the graphics are better, everything about that game is better. So if you ever, if you want like a better version of this game, play Heavy Rain. Um, now, the quick time events in this game, they... At, at, at best, they are just non-intrusive, or they're tolerable. At worst, they are unbelievably frustrating. Um, and it really sucks that you have to start over, and then you get game overs and stuff like that. I mean, they were trying to figure out a way to make it like... Um, make it like a video game so that you actually have lives and stuff like that, while combining it with a deep story. Um, but, you know, I don't know if that really worked out so well. So, that I didn't like. The sneaking stuff, when you go back into the past and you have those um, you know, flashbacks, that that sucked. That was terrible. I hated it. Um, it I don't think it added anything to the game. It was annoying. You know, sneaking in this game is, no, is a far cry from Metal Gear Solid. Um, and then there were the two parts... Uh, where you're in the library and then when you're in the archives those two segments were awful I hated them they made me want to rage quit and I did rage quit um, with that said I think the game is great um, it, the story is really good um, the graphics are really good you know it, it has a compelling storyline I think the best part of the game is at the beginning um, the beginning of this game, it starts out really, really strong. Um, the story is really like interesting, and you, you, you're rooting for Lucas. That's the other thing. The characters in this game, they're kind of a mixed bag. I like Lucas. I like Carla. I'm sorry to say, but that black guy is just kind of like a throwaway character. He didn't even really need to be in the game. And in fact, we got rid of him. It's like he just went off with Winona Ryder and said, you know, fuck you <laughs> to the... To the main cast because he was a, a fifth wheel he, he, he didn't really need to belong um, I don't even know what would happen if you choose to stay like is he part of the game uh, after that or does he just kind of like you know fall off the face of the planet I don't know um, in any case he was useless uh, I, I didn't I didn't like him he's just whatever he's just a, a groovy kind of guy a very stereotypical black guy no, I don't need that. Um, other than that, I liked Lucas and I liked Carla. They were interesting characters. And I wanted to find out. And I was rooting for Lucas. I wanted him to win. Um, that was important to me. Um, unfortunately, the story does peter off near the end. Uh, it becomes... Like, I wish it were grounded more in reality. And that's exactly what Heavy Rain is. It's a mystery story. There's not, like, a hell of a lot of mystery in this. It's just, like, this weird mystical thing. So, like, in the beginning, the reason why it's better, the story's better, is because it's more grounded in reality. Like, it, it is, like, a mystery. You're investigating stuff, you know, you know, trying to solve crime while at the same time trying to get Lucas, you know, away from danger. That's cool. But then once all the mystical Mayan civilization crap starts, like, I, I feel like the story just, you know, it, it, it kind of is left by the, the wayside. Um... So, that's, uh, that's basically it. Like, the graphics, I think, uh, I think are, are great for the time. You know, this game came out in 2005. Um, and it's, it's still, you know, it's not perfect, but it's still a great, uh, graphic adventure type of game. I shouldn't call it a graphic adventure, you know, storybook type of video game. And, uh, it's worth playing if you're a fan of Quantic Dream and Heavy Rain. Um, definitely. And I'm glad I played it. It was a, it was a good suggestion from Nilovani. Um, 
And I'm looking forward to playing more games like this. And there are more games uh, by Quantic Dream and I'm sure by other companies as well. So that's it. Yeah, I give this game my recommendation. It's good. Not perfect, but uh, good game. All right. So that's it for the Fahrenheit stream. I'm assuming they had to change the name for the American release because uh, Fahrenheit probably was uh, trademarked. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's all thank Nilavani. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what uh, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I'll try to go. I'll try to get Scarface. Um, I'll look into some other things too, you know. And we'll we'll see what we get. So I want to thank everyone for streaming with me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And uh, hope to see you all again tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.